Hey there my friends, my name is Governor Gus and I want to thank you for checking out this video. I want to also thank you for listening and for watching this chapter of the day from the scriptures. Now I pray that this message is going to be a blessing to you, um, to your family as well and that you feel encouraged. But also reach out to me on Facebook, um, I'm going to put my links in the description below um, so that we can connect um, and also help and encourage one another. So I pray that today's message is a blessing to you. And um, I look forward to connecting with you even more. And may God continue to bless you. Bye for now. Philemon Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother. To Philemon, our beloved fellow worker, and Aphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. Accordingly, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do what is required, yet for love's sake I prefer to appeal to you. I, Paul, an old man, and now a prisoner also for Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I became in my imprisonment. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful to you and to me. I am sending him back to you, sending my very heart. I would have been glad to keep him with me in order that he might serve me on your behalf during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I preferred to do nothing without your consent in order that your goodness might not be by compulsion, but of your own accord. For this perhaps is why he was parted from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, as a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, receive him as you would receive me. If he has wronged you at all or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it to say nothing of your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, I want some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. At the same time, prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping that through your prayers I will be graciously given to you. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends greetings to you, and so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Hey there, my friends. My name is Kelvin Augusta again. Thank you for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study. Here, the goal is to really share some word of encouragement, share the scriptures, um, share something from the Bible to inspire us to live godly lives, to get closer to Christ, um, to connect with God. So again, if you have any questions, issues, quarrels, comments, uh, recommendations, or you just want to reach out, um, I'm going to put my links to Facebook, my personal profile. I will look forward to connecting with you, um, to help and encourage one another, and to share in any way that we can be a blessing to one another. So again, feel free to connect with me below. Thank you again for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study, where we've shared scripture, we've said, shared encouragement, um, and I look forward to connecting with you. May God continue to bless you. Bye for now.